Everything okay? You good? No. Oh, I'm fine. How are you, Ziffy? Very good. Good, good. Why don't you just keep yourself, you know, tangled here, all right? Just keep them together. Now, we have a nice new alien that's being performed magically by this wonderful performer here. And this character will then tend to come up high and look over your set. Pay attention to your monitor. And your monitor is your reference. It's your framing, as we discussed earlier. Again, you go back to your lighting. We keep our eye focus down. Our playing field is in that direction. So you always want to keep that your eyes are, are here. If you're looking up, it, it makes our eyes look up, but what are you looking at? Okay? Now, one of the things is what we do is puppet blocks. This set is actually perfect for that, is that we have a high rock here. So it gives us a chance to get this puppeteer um, to keep her head down, keep the character up. This is where the challenge is in. And using this block, and always move close to the set. Because the closer you are to the set, the closer the, you are from being seen. No different than a live show. Think of it as a stage. All right, the closer they are here, the better off we are. Less chance of seeing that head. So sometimes if you have that situation in your design, you want to make sure that there's a rock not too far away and, and keep her head out of the shot. So this is where our lighting comes into play. As we talked about, our key light, our fill light, our backlight. Our backlight is helping our secondary cast back here. That secondary cast gets to work off their monitor and be conscious of their set. Now they're kind of really pretty much locked in. So when you design a scene and they can't move in, with a set like this, you get a chance to let these characters go down behind the set. Okay? They get to use their performance, and then when we're ready and Pilot walks in, they can sneakily come up. Now, we're going to set the stage here. Pilot's going to walk in like he came on, a, on a, a scene. He may talk to you. And then, with a couple of beats of dialogue from our director, you guys will then come up behind him. He won't see you. All right? So you want to wait till he moves to frame into center. Okay? Mm -hmm. We'll do a little rehearsal here so that when you guys are, are working out there with multiple puppeteers, your camera crew gets to know what's going on and your performers get to know what's going on. So what we'll wind up doing is at the top of our scene, Pilot walks in, plays to camera one. All right, as he's talking, not knowing where he is, we can't, a beat, you guys notice that, and we'll use you characters come up. Nice turn. All right, mm -hmm. and that's where they get a chance to have a little character development. Keep the eyes down. Now, one of the things on your monitors for your back puppeteers is use it as a reference. So if Pilot's here, focus on him. You have an eyesight line here. You have an eyesight line here. His eyesight line is to that camera. Your eyesight line is to the character. When you're doing multiple performances and you have other characters, you want to create a real world. Pilot's the only one that's going to talk to the audience. These characters are going to focus on him. So that gives you a chance of setting up a multiple scene and understanding how to perform it. All right, we good back here, gang? All right, let's, let's get, if we got all our cameras in place. All right? All right, do you want to, how are you? You good? Okay, now what you want to do is make sure you stay close and always stay to the set. Okay, the farther you move away, greater chance we get to see you. All right, so you always want to be conscious as a performer to understand your surroundings on set. Because when your character has a tendency of moving into place, he needs to know. The more characters you have, the more chaos you have. And you want to make sure that everyone understands where they're going to be. Any questions? Let's do it. OK. You good? All right. OK. So we will get Pilot over here, and we'll get ready for the top of our scene.
All right, our director over there will say action. All right? Okay. Oh, strange land in a strange place. I'm not quite sure where I am. This time machine just dropped me off exactly where I can't make up my mind where I am. It's strange. I could be on an alien land. I could be lost forever. I could have had a three hour tour. Who knew? It doesn't matter where I am. But you never know. There could be strange creatures out there that Ow. could devour me for lunch. Oh. Oh, look. It's someone that's actually a salad. Talk no, about I'm... lunch. We can have him as a salad. I'm a Ziffid. You're a Ziffid? This is planet Ziffos. Welcome. Oh. oh, so that's where I am. Hmm. I was kind of wondering. Hey, you folks out there, did you see this on your road map? See what happens when you don't use your cell phone and use the GPS at the same time? You drive right off the world. Okay, so Ziffid, are you a tossed salad or a stationary salad? There's nothing salad about me. I am oh. the emperor of the Ziffid people. Great. We're totally alone with a salad planet. So, can I ask you a question? Of course. How do you get out of here? Um, there's only one way out. Ta-da! That's a dramatic look if I've ever seen one. Death. What is that? Death is our only way out, little bear. Two camera frame? <laughs> well, this was your chance of the cue. You gotta read your script, buddy. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, to our folks yeah. out there. Yeah. The we, only we went way to an out. awkward moment here. Ready? We'll try it again. Okay. The only way out! It's death. <laughs> death. Is, is what? What is it? The only way out is what? Death. death. Is back. Death. Oh, death. Oh, death. I was wondering. Maybe I just need somebody to talk salad for me. If wow. you refer to me as salad one more time, yeah. I will. Destroy you! Oh, there's no destroying on this show. We kind of have to keep the sets. They could be used for another webcast. That's a good point. Yeah, thanks. What do you think? Uh, well, him. you see, one of the things that the folks want to learn out there is that in our character development and in our world, it's how we work in multiple places. Yes, my back is to the audience. But at that point, the three-camera shoot took care of him. Outside of that, I get to talk to you. When I have just a unruly sense of timing, I'll go back to the guy that looks like a salad. He did it again. Yeah, he called salad. Me a salad. Okay, let's end this scene. Thank you for sharing this interesting planet where salads roam free. Ah! All right, bye. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Mm. Now, and goodbye.